Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Oscar here, bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we return to our base building to create a snow golem farm and tent. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to Scarland. And it's always great to have you here for another super awesome build. So let's close our creeper gate. And in today's episode, we are going to start our snowman farm. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our snow golems and we're going to set up kind of a mechanism below for retrieving their snowballs so that we can have snow blocks for the roller coaster project, which is going to be a much needed item for our survival base. So super excited about that. But we're going to start up here with our tent so let's start to get out some of the materials I've collected around to get ready here so of course this is gonna be kind of our floor and here's Olaf himself ready to be assembled um, just some ice and some of the automation pieces over here we're gonna use quite a bit of stained glass within the uh, tent which will act kind of as crystals which will look pretty darn awesome now what we're gonna need for the actual tent which we're gonna start on in this episode is we need to dye it so we need to get some of these materials together there we go grab that there we go so some of these are going to be accent colors where we may or may not use the main colors of course will be the hardened clay in the dark blue and light blue all right so let's head on over here and get going so i do have quite a bit of hardened clay so we should be pretty good hardened clay wise so oh, I think we're going to be pretty good that way. So we've got two stacks of 64. I'm actually going to grab out one more stack and just split it between the, um, the two colors here. Let me just split that. There we go. Looking snazzy now. There we go. And bring that across. Perfect. Now we've got, that's plenty. That's going to be plenty for what we need. Very nice. Very nice. Super excited to get this going. And I think that is it. I've got the um, the glass cooked. So yeah, let's get started. So my original idea for this build was to kind of just build the tent and have it down in this little kind of um, dry riverbed over here. See, it looks kind of like a dry riverbed through here. But turns out, because this land was generated so long ago in 2011 that Minecraft now considers this a desert. And of course, our little snowman friend, he can't live in the desert. So I've had to look for a new patch of land. And what have I found? I found this extreme hills biome and it just kind of slithers its way through this section right here. And this is going to be a perfect spot because he will be right there inside of the tent. Now from here, I've gotten some ideas. I have gotten some ideas. Now, we need to build a big river near the roller coaster. In what better spot to have it start here with all the ice and the snow, kind of the runoff from the tent. It'll be amazing. We're going to build a really cool waterfall and it'll flow down here and kind of snake its way across there. I think it'll look absolutely amazing now. It'll take a little while to get to the point where we get this all terraformed away. I kind of have a vision in my head, but I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, let's take a look at our materials here. So there are three choices for our wood supports, which are here, here, there, there, and all around. That'll go up about five blocks. So I'm gonna do one of these. And then I want you guys at the end of the video to look at what we've done and see if one of these would have been better. So we have our dark chocolate, our light chocolate, and our acacia wood. So let me know when we're done, which one you liked, A, B, or C. I think I'm just going to do, I kind of like spruce. I think I'm gonna do spruce just because the start out kind of has some nice little bit of brown to it. This is a little grayer brown, and then of course, that's gray. So we're gonna start with this, but if you guys like any of those other choices by the end of the video, definitely let me know, all right? So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect, beautiful. And then we'll just bring this up to that level. There we go, wonderful. And then I'm gonna swap you guys out for now, and I'm just gonna grab out a little bit of chocolate wood. There we go, beautiful. Our little milk chocolate is always making me hungry, always making me hungry. There we go. And let's bring this up to the top. There we go. And I'm actually not using any of our marshmallow wood today. So we uh, we don't have uh, the whole s'more package today. Not the whole s'more package. Now to make a whole s'more Minecraft package, you got to have the, the, dark, um, the dark oak, the spruce, and quartz. And then you've got yourself your very own Minecraft s'more. All right. Is that one too high? I think we may have made a scar mistake there, and that is number one for the episode. And we are looking good so far. We are looking good. So these, of course, are the supports of the tent. 
And then within the tent, right at that block, will be the snowman himself. And then we'll be able to harvest the snowballs from under him. And then we'll do, we'll try to do a little bit of an automation setup, but we'll see how it goes. There we go. You know me in automation. Not always the best, so I try to make up with it with amazing builds and things of that nature. All right, so we're at this point now. Now it's time to get the real details going. So let's see about getting some details here. So we're just going to start to get these across here. Now I'm going to get out some temporary blocks. There we go, because we are going to need those. And I'm going to kind of sneak back here a little bit. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to do one more sneaky block. And do I want to do another sneaky block? I'm feeling like another sneaky block. Yeah, there we go. Lots of sneaky blocks today. All right, I'm going to put this along here to try to get this pattern that I want. So what this pattern is, it looks, or at least what I'm trying to go for, is if the canvas has been stretched down. So that's kind of the design I'm trying to go for. There we go. And then what are your thoughts on maybe an additional one right there? So these are stakes kind of driven into the ground to hold the canvas together. And then we can kind of knock out this piece and then remove our sneaky blocks. There we go. And what do we think? What do we think? I think it's starting to look good. So let's do the same over here. So let's get this piece over here. There we go. Looking fancy, looking fancy so far. And let's see, let's see, let's, um, how did I do that before? How did I get my sneaky blocks all put in there? There we go. Awesome. There, there's something like that, something like that. Um, I think I goofed up. I think we just had a major scar mistake occur. I, you can't even actually quantify how many scar mistakes were just occurred there, but I can tell you one thing: it was a lot. All right, there we go. Now we're now we're in now we're in business, somewhat in business. Sometimes sometimes you know you make a mistake, you just gotta pull through it. Don't let it get you down, and then you get what you want. You get what you want. There we go. All right, wonderful. And then within here, I'm just gonna go a boom and a biom. And then it's going to look like that, looking super fancy. So now I'm going to go up a little higher and go like that. And let's take a look at how we're doing. I think that looks good. Let me know. Oh, oh I thought I was going to go over the edge. Look at that. That is looking super fancy. So let's go over here. And then I'm just going to remove you. And I'm just going to dig in some pylons there. And that is looking super fancy. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving that. All right. This is starting to really come together. It's starting to get a little dark, which I'm starting to get a little freaked out about. So let's uh, put up some lights here. So tent wise, I think this is going to make a really cool tent. Now, our next project, of course, is to build a mine down in the uh, down into the survival cave area. So I think that'll be definitely pretty fun to build. And if you have any cool cave ideas or um, tent ideas too, let me know other, you know, survival aspect things that we need to harvest that we can put within a tent. Definitely let me know. I have so much fun making these and kind of coming up with different different designs and stuff like that. They're they're quite a bit of fun. And if you guys are building this with me, which I definitely hope you are, definitely hope you guys are, um, definitely send me a picture of it on the uh, on the Twitters. I'd love to see your guys' progress and any, uh, you know, pluses you want to make to the design. I'd love to see that when you guys take a design and then you're like, you put your own stamp on it with some improvements and stuff like that. And look at that. No scar mistakes that time. Can I get a, can I get a high five? Can I get a high five? Please. Just a small high five. Just a little one. Nothing, nothing too crazy. We're not going to get too crazy. Just a little high fives. Always nice. All right. There we go. Looking fancy. I'm loving this. All right. So let me finish up the other sides and check for any other mistakes. And I'll be right back. All right. And welcome back. Kind of take a little rest there. And one thing I noticed was our building helmet is nearly depleted. And I do not want to lose this helmet. This helmet has been through a lot. And I hope I'm able to repair it. And I am, which is super awesome. And there we go. Look at those enchantments on that thing. That is a beast. Now, I would like projectile uh, protection off. I would like, you know, just standard protection would be best. But anyway, it's an awesome helmet. And I actually love that helmet. And I didn't want to lose it. Didn't want to lose it. And actually, my boots are starting to wear out. Let's see if we can actually repair those boots, too, because those things have been through a lot also. Big project with the roller coaster stuff. And we can. And we've got ourselves a fully repaired set of armor. Wow, we actually went down right to the wire there. Right to the wire, looking super fancy. All right, so now that we got our new boots all ready to go, let's get back to work. So we need to add the top of the tent. So I wanted to come over here and look at this. When you're going up to the tree farm, look at that view. Look at that view, isn't that amazing? Oh boy, 
We got a Bob alert. Uh, he's lurking around. He knows there's no scar mistake, so he can't get too close. He can't get too close with his venom, so we'll just sneak around here. We'll sneak around here. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in for a sneak attack. Sneak attack. Aha! Bob sneak attack. Ooh, have we found Bob's lair? Is this where Bob hides and waits the night for his attack? I think we did. I think we found it. So, make sure you guys are checking which wood you guys would like best. Um, you know, I'm almost leaning towards that, the gray. I'm almost leaning towards that. It might be cool, but I want to get your guys' opinion on that. I want to make sure you guys have a, a say in the design and the builds and stuff like that. There we go. All right. So, let me get some sneaky blocks there and some scaffolding all set up and ready to rock. And let's see how we want to do this. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm going to go like this. And then, of course, we're going to place some blocks here. I'm going to go like that for now. I think I'm going to do that for now. And then maybe something like this here. So let's jump on over here. And we'll do that again. We'll do that again. So how we had this before, we'll place that up there like that. And then we're going to get some uh, sneaky blocks back there. So these are sneaky blocks. When you need something to be a placeholder block, then you put the sneaky block down. <laughs> sneaky block. I like that. All right, there we go. And then we're going to Paco Haku all along here, getting all fancy. There we go. Sneaky blocks to be there. And then, of course, we'll go up here like that. Awesome. Looking super fancy. And it's nice to find Bob's lair. I feel like we need to install some sentries over there, some uh, cat defense force. Oh, that's the wrong block. Um, you know, we could have put some cats over there. Keep him at bay. Keep good old Bob at bay. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to go, let's see, boom and a boom and a bam. There we go. A delayed bam. Slightly delayed. Oh, no, no, no. That's that's incorrect. That's incorrect. These need to actually be flat. Now, my shovel is also on the super low down over here. So we definitely need to think about getting some more levels here and repair these two guys up. Okay. So we're at this point now. Now it's kind of decision time. Decision time it is. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to go like that. How about that? How about something like that? And we'll just keep doing each side like this so we don't get sidetracked too bad. So we can place a block right there like that. And then sneaky block here. Perfect. And then we go like that. I feel like that's a good solution for it. So that we don't make too many mistakes, you know, doing each side like that and then build it like that. So I think that'll definitely be good. Just want to double check to make sure everything is lined up and ready to go. There we go. And then dirt and block. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So now we're at this point. Let's go like this. There we go. We can do this a little faster now that we're getting a little closer to each other. There we go. And place that right there. And of course there. Awesome, looking super fancy at this point. And then, hmm, let's actually put some blocks like this. There we go, there we go, looking good, looking good so far. All right, and then here, 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 and there. And then what am I thinking, what am I thinking at this point? Go like this, as you can see, perfect, perfect. And then boom, boom, and bam. And then how about we put another sneaky block there and place that as a top holder? Okay, okay, I'm starting to like this. I'm starting to think that we got something here that'll work. And then we'll put some accent colors along here. And then we'll take a look and see how we did. Let's see how this looks. I'm really excited to see how this looks. Let's um, let's take some scaffolding out back here so we can get a better look from a distance. And then we'll have our grand review. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. What do you guys think? Do you guys like that? I think that's pretty cool. Let's scaffold up here a little bit. Yeah. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Let's um jump on over here real quick. And I'm just going to see what this might look like with that knot there. I'm just going to go boom, boom, and bam, of course. And I'm going to jump back over here. Oh, I just missed it. Just missed it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better. I like that design a little bit better than what was there before. As you can see how we did that, we just changed that up a little bit. I think I like that best. I do, I do, I do, I think I do. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll just clear out that. And there we go. I think we've got a really great start to the tent, at least the basic, you know, structural design of the tent. Looking super fancy. All right, so give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So 
I wanted to take a moment and step away from the build. And I think that's always very important when you're building or doing anything in a creative sense is to step away and get a look at whatever you've accomplished, whatever you've created with a set of fresh eyes. Just kind of step away, do something else for a little bit and then come back. And when I came back, I noticed two things. First, the tent looks inflated. It looks deflated. We need to inflate the tent. So we're gonna add just a little extra oomph to it in the center. And the other thing, I feel like the acacia may be the best choice. Look at how awesome that looks. Doesn't that look amazing? I think it looks definitely better than the current one here. And possibly, even if we would like to choose, you know, one of these brownish woods, we can maybe go with this one that's a little more subtle and a little less brown. I think a little less of that would be better in that case, but that's up to you guys. All right, so we're gonna head on up here. There we go. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna expand it just a little bit. We're gonna grab a hold of this block and that block, and we're just going to expand the tent up a little bit as you can see. So we're just going to jump on over here and we're just going to expand it up just a little bit. See how we're doing that? Looking super fancy. Now we've got a couple more little things to do. There we go. We added that. Now from down here, what we're going to do from here is we are going to go like this. We're going to go boom, boom, bam, ha boom, boom. And we're just going to kind of go like that up here. There we go. And the lesson for today, we never settle. Nope, we never settle. We're always looking to build and improve upon our designs. And we're just going to bring that block right there to make it centerpiece look very beautiful. So what's the lesson today, my friends? You need to set a fresh pair of eyes after you build something just to double check. Make sure everything is looking fancy and good. And then never settle. We never settle. We're always looking to improve and expand upon our ideas to make them better. And there we go, looking much, much better. It looks like we just uh, put some air in the, uh, the tires here. And I think that looks really cool. So the next thing, look at this. This little piece of carpet really, really stands out. As you can see, let's slide on over here. Look at that little extra bit of color there. Really cool little accent color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place that right here. I'm just gonna put a sneaky block there and put that right there. And look at how beautiful that looks. So these blocks technically weren't there. I placed them there, just messing around in here. So you'll go like that, you'll place sneaky block, and then you'll go boom, boom like that, and then place another one right there. And you'll have that design. And it looks absolutely beautiful, I think. Look at that interior up there. Look at that, isn't that amazing? And there we go, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. And hopefully you're looking forward to uh, placing Olaf in the center there and getting our little Minecraft snowman going so that we can have lots and lots of awesome wood for the roller coaster project when we start to terraform the land and make it a little more snowy. All right, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later and of course we'll recreate it on this side over here so yeah i think this is kind of the design we're gonna go for it's incredibly difficult to experiment in survival but uh, i did it and i think this is what we're going to um to do and i think this will look really nice now we did lose the window